Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another project pan update for you. So let's just jump right in. A few products I actually forgot about are the shadow shields. They just kind of fell to the bottom. Um, and yeah, I forgot about them. Now I have three packs because my mom gave me one too. I do prefer using loose powder under the eyes to catch fallout. For that I have the hourglass veil powder but here's where we are now so a lot lower than last update as well it's less than half now i still have the three mascaras the Billy beauty extend mascara which is very close to being on its way out ellie colors biggie lash and the milk kush mascara which i'm sure is on its way out as well and when these go we'll implement a couple more Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Pencil. I will say there's definitely been progress on this. Last month, you could see definitely more of the sessive word. And there we are now. So, I did make progress on the pencil. The lip products. The Ellie Colors Lip Scrub. I'm not sure... If there's much of any progress on this product here but I'll insert a picture from last time here's the progress now the lip oil from Ellie colors I did make some progress on that's the last mark we done some of these products will have four marks some of these products will have three some of them will have two some of these products don't have marks at all but that's because they were. Imp this is a rolling project pan, and they were implemented at different times. Some were from the beginning, some are from the middle, some are from the last update. So there's the first mark, and here's where we are now with the wand out. So some progress there. Love this stuff. Setting sprays. I have the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer Mist. I haven't even started using this, so there's no progress on this at all. I'm still using on the elf active mist this stuff's amazing it smells good and here are all the marks the, there's where we started there. and there's our final mark so this is on its way out so next update this will be done and we'll be rotating in a new product in its place i use that to set my face and to wet my brushes to foil eyeshadows the milani face oil the rose one so here is the first mark, second mark, and here where we are now. This is a face oil, so it is taking some time to get through. Also, because you need little of this product. I love the scent to this. I love how this hydrates, moisturizes my face. I usually put this on, if I know I'm doing makeup, I'll put this on like 10-15 minutes prior. I do enjoy this product for prepping the face. And I feel like um, also there was a couple of few times that I forgot about this product in my basket. So um, still progress nonetheless. The CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. First mark, second mark, and here we are now. And you can see that there is spots open in the package and you can see through it. Um, that's actually not where the product is completely settled. That's some on the wall. If I shine a flashlight through, we're about right here. So this was a full product when we started. So making very good progress on this. I wish I still made this. I love these Ready Set Gorgeous products from CoverGirl. Also from that same line, but I have the Ready Set Gorgeous. Um, this is just the Fresh Complexion Powder Foundation. And I actually, this was at the bottom, and I kind of forgot about it, but there is a dip in there. I've actually been working on a different product um, also, but this did fall to the wayside, and I forgot about it also. From Flower Beauty, I have the Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Fill Foundation. This foundation, I used to love it. I'm drifting away from it, but I will finish this up for my project pan. Um, shining a light through it and opening it up and looking through the bottom, I didn't make any marks on this because I'm really uncertain, but I want to say I'm at least here in the product. Almost halfway done. For blush and highlighters, I have the LA Colors Show It Off Blush and Highlight Palette. 
Now, I have been using other stuff pro uh, besides this. And I have stated in the other Project Pan videos that I didn't really have intentions of using this up. But did have intentions of at least pulling it out and seeing if I loved it still. And I absolutely do. This palette is great. This is their blush and highlight palette. And I do recommend this if you find it at your local Dollar General. Very little progress on any of that. Like I said, I'm not really, I wasn't technically trying to use that up. But I've kept it in here to continue using it. I would say some of the biggest progress I've had um, is the Rimmel Kate. This is their, this is in Coral Glow, and it's like a highlight contour blush palette. And there was highlighter all around the pan. Now you can see it's just here. So I made big progress on that. Um, the bronzer is, contour is absolutely so very difficult to get to. I don't even think that these lines... Um, the middle lines were showing, but the outer lines, I don't think those were showing the last update. I could be wrong, but either way, big progress. And the blush has a big dent in it. I've been using um, it quite a bit. I love this blush. I love this product. I wish they still sold it because I would repurchase this. From Ellie Colors, this is a highlighter trio in Wild Child. Um, the only color I'm actually interested in finishing up is this one, so that's why this is the only one being worked on. I don't really care for these. But this one is like a peachy shade that has like an orange-red-pink shift to it. I know, it's absolutely stunning. And you can see two rings of the pan there. And I've made major progress on this in comparison to what it was. And last few items I have. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And there's where we started. Here's about where we are now. Give or take. It could be a little lower than that. There's very little product left in here. So this, the next update will be going out and we'll be rotating something else in. Same for the next product probably. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio. And I don't like the other shades in this. Don't plan on using them up. But this glittery silver white shade up here. That's what I'm working on. So there has been some progress in that. And I'm going to work hard on eliminating this product from my project pan. And rotating something else in. It's gorgeous. Last and final product for my Project Pan update is the NYX Eyeshadow in Pure Skin. And once again, it fell to the wayside. I thought that I, you know, I didn't make much progress last update. But since last update, you can see quite a bit of the pan. There is a, there's a major dip going on there. You can barely see some of the markings that used to be in the shadow also. And I am impressed. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that progress. So this has been my Project Pan update number four. I thank you guys so very much for watching. Stay tuned for more Project Pan updates. And I will continue to roll in and rotate new products into this Project Pan because it is a rolling Project Pan. Don't forget to check the description box and the cards for additional links. Thank you so much for watching.